How's it going guys? Today I have a short video for you on SDI latency. It was actually a suggestion from the comments section one of you wrote. Do you possibly know the latency on the SDI output for the FX6 and the G2? To which I responded, I'm not really sure. I figured this is probably something that you could find online. But I got a response to that saying, John, I will pay you for you to make a scientific test of the output latency from these cameras. This information is non-existent on the web. So here's the test. Let me walk you through it. Behind me, there are two screens. This screen is connected to my computer. And this screen is connected to the various cameras that we will be testing today. On my computer, I'm clicking play on a short video I made that has a puppy emoji for one frame, like so. Then we will count the frames between this screen and that screen in order to have an idea of the different latencies between the cameras. The cameras that we're testing today are the Blackmagic Broadcast G2, the Blackmagic Ursa Mini G2, the FX6, and an FX3. Let's get into it. So the first camera we have here is the Ursa Mini G2. Here we're at the 59 second mark, 26 frames, 27 frames, 28 frames, 29 frames, one minute. Here we've got the puppy emoji flashing with the white screen. If we already take a look at the other screen, we can sort of see 59, 27. So that gives us an idea that it there's a th about a three frame delay. One, and here we can see the pixels are starting to go back to black. Two, and here we can see the pixels are starting to come in with the, the puppy, although I would say that that's not a full frame. Three. And there we have the full frame at the one minute mark. So Ursa Mini G2 has about a three frame delay at 29.97 frames per second. Let's check the broadcast G2. Okay, here we've got the broadcast Ursa G2, 59 seconds, 27 frames, 28 frames, 29 frames, and here we've got our puppy. The other screen says 59 seconds, 26 to 27 frames, so that's sort of interesting. One frame, two frames, we start seeing the puppy, and three frames. I'm going to say they have the same amount of delay, three frames, between both Blackmagic cameras. Let's check the Sony FX6. So Sony FX6, 59 seconds, 25, 26 frames, 27 frames, 28 frames, 29 frames. And here we've got uh, the puppy coming in. One minute mark, nice and clear. And the other frame says 59 seconds, 27, 28, 29. So it's pretty much fully painted in at one second. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's three frames as well. Yeah. It's about the same, three frame delay at 29.97. So since the FX6 does have an HDMI out, I decided to also test HDMI out through a converter to see if there's any difference in that. And these are the results for the HDMI. So here we are with the FX6 HDMI out through a converter, 59 seconds, 25 frames, 26 frames, 27 frames, 28 frames, 29 frames, one minute mark, nice and clear. We can see on the secondary frame, it says 59 seconds, 26 frames. So not strange to get one more frame worth of delay when it's going through a converter. One frame, two frames, three frames. We've almost got the full puppy, but on the fourth frame, we have the full puppy with the time code at one minute. So it introduces one frame of delay. Now let's try the FX3 using the same workflow. All right, and we're at the FX3, 59 seconds, 25 frames, 26 frames, 27 frames, 28 frames, 29 frames. One minute mark, we've got full puppy again, and we can see that the screen right next to it says 27 to 26 frames. So one frame, two frame, three frame. Interesting, it looks like the FX3 is a uh, Eh, sort of in between frames, three to four frames of delay when you're going out of the HDMI and adding that conversion. Uh, still pretty good. As far as I can tell, these cameras have essentially the same latency on the SDI output. I hope this is somewhat useful to you. I did want to run these tests at 60 frames per second at 4K, but I sort of ran into some issues with uh, my equipment, I think it was just not compatible, <laughs> not fully 12G compatible. So, um, so we're sticking with the 4K30. I hope that's good enough for you. 
If you made it to the end of this video, I would greatly appreciate a like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.